Hi guys, DK here. Very quick video this one, uh, and it's about the conversion of a small oilless uh, air compressor into this uh, composites uh, vacuum pump. This is a conversion I've done a few times. Now it's quite simple. You'll just buy the pump and then take the connection off the uh, off the inlet here into the uh, into the tank and the uh, filter off the other end. Then you want to look at unbolting the whole pump off its four uh, off its four screws or off its two brackets. And then it's just a matter of lifting the pump up, turning it around 180 degrees, and connecting those connections back up. So uh, we're now going to have the tank connected to the um, to the vacuum side of the pump and the filter connected to the outlet side of the pump. Then you want to in this uh, you want to remove the check valve from uh, this fitting and block the uh, block this other pipe fitting on here, which is no longer needed. Once that is done, uh, you can remove the uh, the complete uh, compressor regulator and add the uh, plumbing fittings and one of these MDS uh, vacuum controllers. Uh, that'll all just drop onto the uh, same connection system. Now in the uh, in the links in this video there will be uh, the change in the wiring including adding this new uh, three position switch uh, which is one direction uh, will control the vacuum and the other one will just run the pump continuously for maximum uh, for maximum vacuum. And here is it uh, is it running, and uh, it's uh, very very quiet. And it also has uh, because these are oilless compressors, um, it has no oil vapors, which is a real problem with uh, some of the cheaper uh, vacuum pumps on the market, especially for use in composites. So, and also being very quiet, it's much easier to find leaks. And the addition of having a tank, which doesn't come with a, uh, for a bit of vacuum reservoir, which doesn't come on a standard, uh, a standard vacuum pump, and the ability to control. So that, uh, this electronic controller can be set to uh, sort of uh, any level of vacuum and with a dead zone. So I, I typically set it to around uh, around the 12 psi with a, a half a psi dead zone so it comes back on at 11 and a half uh, psi vacuum so that's just what we're seeing there and with the two valves you have the ability to uh, to sort of remove the vacuum when you need it and we can see here if I flick this over to run this pump will now pump down to its maximum value which is Typically, a, the sort of 13 and a half uh, psi of vacuum, which for uh, almost all composites works, is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's uh, you can get higher vacuums with uh, with other pumps, but uh, most of the work that I do with 13, 13 and a half psi is absolutely fantastic. Now, if you check on the uh, uh, on the two links that are at the bottom of this video, one is to a full list of uh, bill of materials, including links to all of the suppliers, and the second one is a new uh, is a, a wiring diagram, which allows you to uh, uh, rewire the pump to exactly how uh, I've got it in this video. And there we have it, guys. That's the the quick conversion of an oilless air compressor into a vacuum pump.